You gave us a little bit. You got to give us more. Yeah, I was like, what don't I know? It's I mean, night and day. The reality is foreign reality countries. Radio. Foreign countries see us through the eyes of movies and television shows. And our portrayal, one of the reasons that I am still the only network in this country that will air the Cosby show, because that ensemble, that is not forgiving what Bill did, what he did was despicable. But that show more accurately portrayed Black life in America than any show has ever. And that ensemble should not be punished because of the wrongdoing of one human being. I don't want the Chinese who only see Housewives of Atlanta to think that that's what Black women are about. Uh, uh, fighting mm -hmm. with each other, screaming and hollering. The way media right now, <laughs> the media is dogging Biden. The reason Hillary Clinton never got elected president of the United States would lose to somebody who couldn't even construct a sentence <laughs> was because of the media dogging her like, and in my opinion, she was more qualified to be the president than her husband was qualified to be the president. <laughs> Nobody had done what Hillary had done. But mm -hmm. the media now no longer is covering the news. It creates the news and it decides, particularly as it relates to people of color, what's important and what we should be thinking and what we should be doing. OK, but anyway, that's a whole nother podcast that I hope that you will invite mm -hmm. me back to. Because oh, yeah. I think, OK, <laughs> you I'm go like, for hey. that one. <laughs> OK, because if we don't get it under control. All right. I do not know what's going to happen to the future of us. All if it right? wasn't for y'all, we wouldn't know black girls be missing. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, exactly. Yeah. All right. Thank you, TV One. Okay. <laughs> and, and so very important. But to your question, yes. no, I have no regret, regrets. There is absolutely nothing that I would do differently other than have more than one child. Okay. I really, really, really wished um, that I had, I had him so young. It was so, you know, traumatizing and, and so scary for me, quite frankly, but I should have adopted. I should have made it possible for more than just Alfred to benefit from the blessings of this media conglomerate that God has blessed me to be able to, to build. I have adopted uh, individuals like Laia, I have, you know, <laughs> other individuals that, that I have, you know, been a big aunt to or a godmother or a grandmother, but I wish that I had biological, okay, heirs. Do, I, do, I mind, do, you, mind me, do, do you mind me interrupting you real quick? I just want to say this, because we've been through a lot in these 40 years, something years that you know me, but be clear, the only reason I wanted to be in radio is because my godmother had a best friend named Kathy Hughes who owned radio stations. Be clear, the first radio job I ever got was at 12 years old when I volunteered at WLWMMJ, your first radio station. And be clear that when I went to Clark Atlanta University, you were the one that made the call to Dr. Gloria James and said, she needs an internship at WCLK. So thank you. And to be clear that I had the best all-female morning radio show on Radio 1. Shout out to Shamara. <laughs> <laughs> you just closed the show. I, I, I know. I was, I was like, like, that's like some mic drop Laia version. There, there's nothing else I can no, say. I, 